Is John Rahm truly the current best golfer in the world? He certainly thinks so, and his recent red-hot streak of three tournament wins in just five starts makes a compelling case. But despite his dominance on the course, Rahm finds himself sitting at a frustrating number five in the official world golf ranking, so what's happening? Rahm has vocalized his skepticism of the methodology behind the ranking system, and has dared to challenge the status quo by claiming that he deserves the top spot. With each win, Rom's argument grows stronger, and the golf world is left to ask, is the official world golf ranking system truly accurate, or is Rom's talent being overlooked? What did he have to say? Stick around to find out all the details. Welcome to Golf Links, and remember to subscribe to the channel for updates on new video drops. John Rahm, the successor to Steve Ballesteros, Jose Maria Olazabal, and Sergio Garcia, became the fourth Spaniard to win a major when he won the 2021 US Open. At Torrey Pines, John Rahm impacted collegiate talent scouts so much that he was quickly plucked from the Basque region and on a quick path to the top of the world golf rankings. Rombo is his peer's nickname for him because he was a powerful golfer with incredible finesse and an uncanny ability to nail long putts. Between April of 2015 and June of 2016, he had the world amateur number one ranking for 60 weeks. Rom turned professional in 2016 after finishing as the best placed amateur at the US Open. Rom is a big man with a deft touch, and after a glittering amateur career, his decision to go pro was met with high expectations. His first PGA Tour victory demonstrated his flair for the dramatic, as he drained a 60-foot eagle putt on the final hole to win the 2017 Farmers Insurance Open in his rookie season. This win propelled him into the top 50 of the world rankings. He has won the PGA and European Tour tournaments, including the Irish Open twice, and two titles in his native Spain. He made his Ryder Cup debut late in 2018, during a week that included a singles victory over Tiger Woods, and shortly after that, he was invited to and won Woods' Hero World challenge. Rom finished the 2019 PGA Tour season with 12 top 10 finishes and was ninth in money earned. He ended the same season on the European Tour in spectacular fashion, taking home the race to Dubai and a $5 million bounty in addition to the DP World Tour Championship. Rom claimed the world number one ranking one month into the relaunched 2020 season with a three-stroke victory in the Memorial Tournament at Muirfield Village Golf Club in Dublin, Ohio, before giving up the top spot to Justin Thomas after two weeks. Rom eventually returned to the top after placing in a tie for 13th at the PGA Championship. After two weeks, his reign was over again. In early April, Rom's wife Kelly gave birth to their first child, forcing him to make a last-minute dash to the 2021 Masters. Despite the rushed preparation, the new father finished quickly to tie for fifth place. Rom tied for eighth at the PGA Championship, giving him a seventh top 10 finish in a major. However, he knew his big opportunity would come the following month at Torrey Pines, the location of his first PGA Tour victory of 2017. Rom was three shots back going into the final round and was surrounded by several world-class players, but he picked up the pace just in time to win his first major. Rom made birdies on the last two holes to secure the thrilling victory. With that victory on the California coast, he regained his world number one ranking. He struggled early in 2022 after finishing 2021 with a strong Ryder Cup performance in a losing effort. Still, his victory in the Mexico Open in May gave fans reason for optimism that his recent struggles might be changing. And by most accounts, John Rahm had a successful golf season in 2022. It would be difficult to claim that the Spaniard had a down year with a victory at the PGA Tour and two victories on the DP World Tour, including the DP World Championship. But since both DP World Tour victories occurred in the fall, it appeared that way for most of the year. A season after winning his first major, Rom failed to finish in the top 10 in any of the majors, with his best finish being a T12 at the US Open. For those who don't believe me, I struggled with my swing for most of the year, Rom said ahead of this entry tournament of champions. I wasn't as at ease as I had been the previous year, and it showed. Those mistakes will show when you get to major championship golf, where you need to improve in every way. In the magical season that saw him win his first major and reach the top of the official world golf ranking, the 2021 US Open champion placed eighth in strokes game. But he dropped to 38th in that division in 2022. It just wasn't as smooth as I would have liked, Rom explained. I still have a lot of top 10s. I believe I finished in the top 10 in nearly half of the tournaments I entered. This year, I didn't give myself as many chances to win as I would have liked. However, despite being in one of the best forms of his career, John Rom's OWGR ranking did not increase. 
John Rahm was ranked number five in the official world golf ranking at the start of 2023, a position he felt even at the time did not accurately reflect his recent dominant play, which was highlighted by victories at the Spanish Open and DP World Tour Championship late last year. The following days saw the former number one and 28-year-old Spanish star win the Century Tournament of Champions at Capalua, the first ever designated event on the PGA Tour, defeating nearly all of the tour's top players. Rahm's OWGR ranking after the win? He was still ranked fifth. If you're perplexed as to why Rom's ranking didn't rise after such a significant victory, you're not alone. According to an interview Rom gave with Sky Sports, he was also perplexed and slightly annoyed. You should know that Patrick Cantlay, who placed T16 at Kapalua, was still in front of Rom in the OWGR rankings, as he was last year, and Rom wasn't happy about it. Since the postseason, I've won three times, and I'm nowhere near Cantlay, Rom told Sky Sports. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. For the record, Cantley only finished the 2022 season with one win that resulted in OWGR points. However, it happened at a championship event, the BMW Championship, which had a strong field and, as a result, gave him a significant ranking boost, moving him from number four to number three at the time. Last year, he added three runner-up finishes among his 12 top 10, further solidifying his ranking. On the other hand, Rom had two of his most recent victories at the DP World Tour competitions, which provide significantly fewer OWGR points due to the poor depth of fields compared to tour competitions. That was a point on which Rom previously expressed concern last year. I'm going to be as blunt as I can, Rom said ahead of the DP World Tour Championship in November. I think the OWGR is currently laughable. Laughable? Laughable. Rom found it laughable that the RSM Classic, the PGA Tour event that week, awarded more OWGR points than the DP World Tour's premier event, which featured other notable players like Rory McIlroy and Matt Fitzpatrick. The situation was made worse by the fact that Rom won the competition after making his remarks. Still, just like before, his OWGR ranking remained at number five. Rom blamed recent OWGR changes and conditions, both then and now, for his unfortunate ranking circumstance. I would have been pretty damn close to world number one right now if they hadn't changed the world ranking points, Rom said. But in my mind, I've been the best player in the world since August. Also, at the Sony Open in Hawaii, Adam Scott expressed similar worries during his pre-tournament press conference. Scott commented on the recent OWGR changes and said he didn't believe the changes were correct. He also added that he didn't think Rom's win at the Century Tournament of Champions at Kapalua was adequately rewarded. I should not receive many points because I only defeated four opponents. He commented that John Rom beat a field of champion players at the PGA Tour and the best 30 players on tour for the year and thought it was worth some points. However, as golf's resident OWGR expert, Sean Zach, and statistician Mark Brody noted last year, these OWGR criticisms ignore one crucial fact. It would take time for the most recent changes to take full effect. The OWGR system is based on a two-year window. Due to last year's updates, most individual tournaments, particularly those with small fields like the Tournament of Champions, will affect a player's overall ranking less. Cantlay and number two, Scotty Scheffler, who has ranked ahead of Rom, gain from victories obtained under the previous point system. However, Rom's three most recent victories occurred after the OWGR update in August. However, as time passes, performances recorded before the changes will fall outside the two-year window, and the ranking will adjust to reflect recent performances more accurately. And with or without the changes, Rom will reclaim the top spot if he continues to win. So when do you think these changes in the OWGR will reflect John Rom's victories? And will he still be in great form when it happens?